The reason that I'm here today is because I want to serve as a witness to everyone here of what abortion has done to the United States, my country. And I want to plead with you to continue to do your incredibly important work to be a leader to the rest of the world, not just to Europe, but to, my, to the USA, of keeping a nation abortion free, because my country needs this so very much. The civil rights movement was actually launched by an image. This is why new media and images, media, is so important and powerful in the fight against abortion. In 1955, in the South, in the Deep South, where racism was alive in the United States, there was a little boy visiting his uncle, a black boy named Emmett Till. And he went to visit his uncle and he was hanging out with his cousins in the town area where there was a convenience store where they could buy candy. And he was accused of whistling at the white woman behind the counter, this 14-year-old boy. Well, later that night, a group of white men kidnapped Emmett out of his uncle's home, took him out to a shed in the countryside, beat him so badly he could not be recognized. They pushed his nose up into his face, they punched out an eye, they strangled him, and they threw him in a river to die. Emmett died. When Emmett's mother found out about this up north, because he was from the north, where there wasn't so much racism and segregation, she was distraught. She asked for the body of her son, and the coroner sent it to her, closed casket, nailed shut because he was so disfigured. Well, there's a lot of media already buzzing about this, but she decided to hold a public funeral, and at the public funeral to invite the press, to invite photographers, which were greedy for the story and wanted to come, and she chose to leave the casket of her son open. And people said to her, why are you doing this? It's disrespectful to the dead. It's disgusting. It'll cause controversy. Why are you doing this? And then until his mother said, because I want the whole world to see what happened to my little baby. And likewise, we want the whole world to see what is happening to these little babies. That image of Emmett pushed a movement forward. It was widely publicized, printed in newspapers. The media is a little more selective these days. We have to put that image of the unborn child, the victim, the aborted child, up to the public so they know what is happening. I have never known a country without abortion. Before I was even born, and before my friends were even born, my siblings were even born, Supreme Court justices, nine of them, vandalized the great Constitution of the United States and said that abortion was a constitutional right. They did that to my country. And yet, we were born for such a time as this. There's a reason God allowed us to be in this dark time in the world today, because it is our job and it is our greatest opportunity to fight, to lead this nation Ireland to leave the United States and the entire world away from death, back to life. And that's the message for all of us, even here, because I know the attacks are strong in Ireland. I've heard some things about it, even here in Ireland. And you here in Ireland are an example to the rest of the world. So how much more? Do not weary of doing the good that you do. Do more of it. Be braver, be stronger, because America and the rest of the world is looking to Ireland. And we need you to lead us. We need you to help us. So thank you so much for all your toil and all your work. And please continue to do it, because we will be successful. Our Lord, Our Lady, God is on our side, and we will win this fight. Thanks so much for having me.